Welcome to this short introductory video of our Open Interfaith Health Science Center Zoom Sanctuary Inspirational Gathering. The next is on the 31st of August, noon, Winnipeg time. It is a confluence of holy souls. Baha'u'llah writes, the world beyond is as different from this world as this world is different from that of the child while still in the womb of its mother. Esther Maloney writes, when I was pregnant, I began thinking about the world of the womb. The first world the soul passes through. There are endless apps that help you track your baby growing from the size of a blueberry to a watermelon and all the incredible developments that accompany this. This was my baby's main job in the womb to prepare physically for the world he was entering. All are welcome at our gatherings. We're all equal here. Everyone is free to suggest any changes that will make this a more fruitful gathering or to take over arranging all or part of any session. There is a moment to get to know each other in each gathering. What are we each praying for? What quote, song, inspirational thought have we brought to share what is in our hearts oh god resuscitate us give us sight give us hearing familiarize us with the mysteries of life so that the secrets of thy kingdom may become revealed to us in this world of existence and we may confess thy oneness every bestowal emanates from thee every benediction is thine Thou art mighty, thou art powerful, thou art the giver, thou art the ever bounteous. In a devotional, as some begin to read prayers, a spirit of comfort enveloped those who had gathered. When prayers and quotes have been read by the circle, it seemed that the devotional is over. But then a new voice rises, chanting a song. It may be a woman who knew no one besides the host, singing a Christian prayer so soulfully it moved everyone. A great sense of comfortable, welcoming acceptance and tolerance settles over everyone. In Lakota culture, one of the four great values is wachinkataka, or fortitude means facing danger or challenges with courage, strength, and confidence. Believing in oneself allows a person to face challenges. Fortitude includes the ability to come to terms with problems, to accept them, and to find a solution that is good for everyone. One of the first lessons a Lakota child learned in the old days was self-control and self-restraint in the presence of parents or adults. Honoring all the children that did not come home. Verily with exceeding joy, with hearts and soul, do these oppressed of thine offer themselves up for all mankind in every land. Thou seest them, O my Lord, weeping over the tears thy people shed, mourning the grief of thy children, condoling with humankind, suffering because of the calamities that have beset all that the citizens of the earth. Interfaith, multi-faith, why the difference? So I went to the event Breaking Bread. The mosque Imam greeted everyone and asked that we sit at a table with people we didn't know, preferably not of our religion. He explained that on each table was a list of prompts that should inspire us to have a dialogue about something we had in common. The first time we went, I found myself with several Muslims and Christians of different denominations, and all of them happened to be women. The prompt that day was to talk about typical food we used in our religious celebrations and rituals. Though I'm aware that this is commonplace among many religions, there is no such thing in the Baha'i faith, which has no rites or rituals. The dialogue about murdered and missing Aboriginal women 
It's important. If we are to build a community we feel we all belong in, it is a hard discussion, a difficult one, even traumatic to hear. Our Aboriginal sisters have had to go through this trauma. We can learn how they dealt with being traumatized and can draw on their strength. The National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls hearing in Thunder Bay, Ontario, December 2017. The family of Priscilla Simard put forward several recommendations for change, including on issues such as the investigative process of the Vancouver City Police, police reports, coroner reports, police response and protocols, credible witnesses, and a predominance of evidence based on environment. As well, the family had specific recommendations on child welfare, domestic violence, intimate partner violence resulting in death, and the need for a holistic healing strategies. O oh Lord, Thou seest this essence of sinfulness turning unto the ocean of thy favor, this feeble one seeking the kingdom of thy divine power, this poor creature inclining himself toward the day star of thy wealth, by thy mercy and thy grace. Disappoint him not, O Lord, nor debar him from the revelations of thy bounty in thy days, nor cast him away from the door which thou hast opened wide to all that dwell in thy heaven and on thine earth. Alas, alas, my sins have prevented me from approaching the center of thy holiness, the court of thy holiness, and my trespasses have caused me to stray far. In Rasa's city, friends didn't often ever set foot in each other's homes, much less share their religious beliefs with others. But this woman felt comfortable enough to sing from the depths of her soul and add to the diversity of the religions represented there. Do Black Lives Matter? Most certainly, for they are the pupil of the eye of humanity. Make a list of your friends and invite them to this devotional or a devotional you begin. It is a gift from you to them. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a good week. I hope we see you on the 31st. Take good care.